Alright guys, I'm back. Um, for those that are watching this on YouTube, I know uh, for some reason our internet, I don't know what happened. We buffered on breakers and then it rebooted or something like that. I made sure to film the stack of cards at all angles in a circle and then I put this little teepee around it and said I won't touch it until I'm back. Um, so, just didn't want anybody to think anything weird's going on, but looks like we are back. This is the continuation of National Treasures Case Break number 30. And I'm so sorry, guys, that that happened to the internet. Whew! I was on panic mode with them. I said, You gotta get me working, man. I'm live. I've got like a $450 box of cards on the table. You don't understand. Hurry, man. <laughs> oh. That's like the worst thing I think as a breaker is you got a high-end break on and your camera goes down. It's just not good. It just It's not cool. You never want to give anybody an inkling of a thought that something might weird might go on. That's, you know what I mean? All right, guys, so let's continue on. Case break number 30. A lot of people still aren't in the room, which sucks, but hopefully they'll twinkle back in, twinkle back in. All right, guys, good luck, everybody. Thanks for hanging in there with me until I got the Internet guy on there. We've got an emerald. And you'll see this on video, what I did with the stack, guys. I turn it in circles and show the stack of cards Ooh, we got a nice one coming so that's an emerald base three out of five camillary for the flames and then this nice card here wow look at this One of one printing plate. I'll give something away at the end of the break, guys. I'll give something away. One of one printing plate. Fatty Patch Auto Richard Panic. Tampa Bay Lightning. That is sick. One of one. That is filthy, dude. What a surprising hit for TB right there. Congrats for that on TB, man. That is just great. Beautiful card. Yeah, and that's sick, huh, Maddie? Wow, look at this bad boy. Look at that beauty right there. Camera don't do its justice, but it's numbered to the jersey. RPA number to 73 to the Jersey Sick Patch Auto Rookie Tyler Toffoli for the LA Kings. This is the camera went down box mojo. <laughs> oh. And that's your dream too if that ever happens on a high end product. Let it be the best box when the camera comes back on. And we got a rookie jersey, or not rookie, but jersey auto booklet, Carolina Hurricanes. Elias Lindholm, it is a rookie, number to 99. Nice Elias right there for Carolina. Nice job, Carolina. We'll take this. We'll take this. Rookie auto for the Sharks, number to 99, Tomas Hurdle for SJ. For SJ and the Sharks. Nice one for the Hurdle. And we got Century Materials, two color prime jersey, number to 50, Claude Giroux for the Fly. I'll do a recap after this break, too, because there's going to be a lot of guys that miss some stuff. And do a quick recap. We got a dual jersey. Number to 99, Knights in the City, Brett Hull and Vladimir Tarasenko. Vladimir, what do you do? I do nothing. Shut up. And 
we got a triple auto for the Coyotes. Shane Doan, Keith Yandel, and Smitty. Number to 60. I need to buy that one. Joey, you need to sell this to me. Melissa wants the Doan and the Smitty. And we got a duel, memorabilia and auto number to 25, Johan Franzen und Vreden, number to 25. Johan Franzen und Garden, Mr. Defense, Ed. Yandel, Mr. Defense. Cyan Plate, one of one, Francois Bouchemin for the Ducks. Oh, you mean Mr. No Defense. <laughs> Is he still with Florida this year, Ed? Yandel. Yellow, one of one, Ryan Murray, CBJ, Maddie. Oh, wow, they kept him again. Interesting. I guarantee if he doesn't perform well this year, he's done. With Don Baloney. Yeah, Don Baloney isn't the greatest GM, bro. Don Baloney was just kind of... I wasn't a big fan of Don Baloney because Don Baloney said that we had the savior for the Coyotes and that it was going to change the entire franchise and the surprise is coming up next week. It was like the October surprise or something like that. So, he announced it, the franchise player that's going to change everything for us. Everybody, welcome Martin Erat. Martin Erat. Welcome, everybody. And we got a base, 199, Jonathan Taze. And I went, oh, this is the Gretzky that was supposed to come? Oh, wow, franchise? We got a dual memorabilia. Jersey rookie auto Jerry de amigo. Oh, de amigo. Yeah, giving up Dukes. That is bad giving up Dukes. And we got a dual autograph number two hundred. Eric Stahl, Cam Ward, Carolina. I like Dukes. You think I'm a Duke? Nobody out about mother. We got a timeline jersey to 99. Tyler Sagan for Dow. Wow, that's awesome, dude. Looks like, a dude, is the internet buffing? No! Internet, no! Dude, it did it again. Guys, here's how many cards are left. One, two, three, four, five. And two printing plates, guys. I'm going to have to show this on camera. I mean, this is just ridiculous. This is still recording. I'm building another teepee. It's not gonna, the cards will not be touched. This will be on camera. This is crazy. Look, guys. See the green flashes? I gotta call business support again. This is crazy, man. Cox Business. Your call may be monitored or recorded to ensure quality service. If you are calling about services for your Cox Business or corporate account, press one. If you are calling about your Cox residential or home account, Press 2. If you're calling to add services, purchase new services, or just have questions about adding or purchasing services, 
please press 1 now. For all other requests, press 2. If you already have an account with Cox Business, press 1. Other one, please enter the 10-digit phone number associated with your account. I couldn't find an account associated with phone number 480-220-8382. If you'd like to try a different number, please enter it now. Otherwise, press pound. privacy of your account information, please enter your four-digit personal identification number. If you don't know it, press pound. For questions about your bill or to make a payment, press 1. For technical support, press 2. For cable TV, press 1. For high-speed internet, press 2. We're currently experiencing a service outage in your area. Technicians have been dispatched to correct the problem. We expect that repairs will be completed by 12.35 a.m. If you still need technical assistance, press 1. To return to the main menu, press 9. Or if you're done for today, simply hang up. Let's try that again. If you still need technical assistance, press 1. To All right, please wait. Cat, I'm uh, on live with my customers streaming, and I just had the router like three times recycle itself on and off, and then I called in, and they rebooted it, and it worked for about four minutes, and now it's rebooting itself again. Is there problems in my area? Um, let me take a look at that, because it sounds like it. Um, and I apologize, I missed your name? Uh, Robert Bauman. Right? Yes, it is, yeah. Oh. Oh, okay. I it looks like there Gosh, twelve thirty midnight. Yeah. yeah, but we are getting text on it. Um, it just got flagged recently, within the past twenty minutes. Do you um, know? Do you know what it was? Uh, see, they usually don't put on a reason until after they get it fixed, unless it's something like a car accident. But let me see. Sorry for the wage discrepancy. No, no, it's fine. I'm just my customers. I'm I, I open for for um oh. you know I have a sports card shop and then I open up live on the internet as well on the weekends and I have a really well not I guess it's really high end product and I have it open on the table and then when you you know you internet goes down and the camera goes down you know it can look funny to your people when you know, it's happened like three times now, and I still haven't even gotten through this one box, and it's like, oh my gosh, man. So just so my customers can hear you, there there is an outage, correct? There is an outage, yes. Okay, and what is the estimated repair time? That is approximately 12.30 a.m. local time. Oh my gosh. Three and a half hours. That is insane. It doesn't give me a reason for it yet. I'm going to reach out to network operations just to see if there is any update, but um, no promises I can get a reason for you. So, I, like I said, usually after they resolve, they'll put down the reason, what happened, you know, and what they did. So. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm so sorry about that, Robert. All right, can you say it one more time? There's a power outage, right? There's, there's an outage, yes. There's an internet outage. 
and it's till twelve thirty in the morning is this is the approximate time? Correct. It's estimated to be repaired by then. Okay. So it's not me, it's the It's not you. Okay. It's okay. the area. All right, because I was feel I was sitting here thinking, man, my system really sucks, and I spent a fortune on it. <laughs> and it looks like I was gonna say, it looks like the modem's online right now. Yeah, um, it it is online right now. What happens is though, when I get started, it it reboots itself again. That unfortunately is not uncommon. It's probably gonna be intermittent while they're working on it. Okay, I will try to finish this one box. I guess worst case scenario, I might have to break and um, make videos for the guys. I don't know. I'm so sorry. Yeah, I know it's tough, especially when this is your business. I know. But we will we will try to get you up as quickly as possible. So hopefully it won't be twelve thirty in the morning. Hopefully it'll be sooner than that. Yeah, big time. All right, thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. All right, you too. Bye-bye. Bye. Well, guys, you heard the deal there. Ay, ay, ay. It's not me. Um, at first, I thought it was me, and I'm like, what's going on? My system's broke. You know, but it, it just doesn't seem right. So, there's a powder out outage in the area, and I think what I might have to do, guys is break worst case just keep breaking and have it go to video and upload it because I can record it without being live are you guys okay with that Are you guys there? Are you guys there? Okay, I'm going to upload.